whoever did this looks like they gained entry here. CCTV shows he was still alive at 21.05 last night, smoking a cigarette outside UCLH Oncology Department. So, we know it wasn't the smoking that killed him, but I know which way I'd rather go. This next mission calls for our best agent. Not you, Agent Nigel. Oh, sorry. Yeah, good now. So guys, we have been keeping a little shh, shh, secret from you. Shh. It's a super English secret, this guest. It's the only blinking Johnny X. Jakob now! Yeah! <laughs> Johnny X, you are live to 8 million German fans. Not forgetting all those fans watching in Norway, Holland and Luxembourg. So what have you got to say to them? Hi. Hi, hey. from <laughs> Hi to Luxembourg especially. You are particularly honored. You want to protect the anonymity of your IP address? Then you should use Tor. The Onion router, it's easily accessible. I mean, like, it's used by government agencies, dissidents, journalists, everyone, really. So, basically, you enter the Tor network, it passes you to a Tor node, then onto another Tor node, and eventually get to an exit node, which gets you out to the internet. And that way, it's extremely difficult to track the person that's using it extremely difficult, but not impossible. Look, can I be upfront about something? Yeah. I've got an area down there that's a bit red. Red? Yeah, I've had it checked and it's definitely non-infectious. That's good to know. It's just dry skin, that scratch. Right. Totally safe. But if you prefer, I can just keep my clothes on and blow you. Sounds good. Which version? Clothes and blow. Sorry I'm a bit late, my love. I was doing a woman's hair in Cleveland and she starts this tale of woe just as I'm trying to leave. Turns out she likes to have a year-round tan. So come winter, she's all tetchy about the lack of UV. So I says, get down the tanning tavern. Give over, she says. I'm not paying silly prices for what's free down the butchers. And sure enough, she gets a job down the butchers, thinking that if she stands underneath the fly exterminator long enough, she'll get a tan. Well, three pound a tripe fell out of her handbag halfway through the first day and she'll be giving her marching orders and that put paid to that. Now, what we doing with this? Simon Snapham didn't see Grandpa land in the helicopter. He was eating his lunch and talking to his camera. Good morning's work that was. Which was a very odd thing to do. We've done brilliantly, you and me, Kevin. He called his camera Kevin. By tonight, Kevin, our photos of Bella La Belta are going to be all over the Sunny Sands Gazette. Simon checked his camera and saw that all the photos of Bella had gone. He couldn't understand it. Don't apologise, Muriel. We all make mistakes. Ministering to a parish such as this reminds me of the saffron farmer who rises at dawn to gently pluck the golden stamen of the crocus. Such intensive, dedicated work for seemingly little reward. <laughs>